with. And here's BioClean. Now, how do they use this? This could be a spray on product or you can inject it. We spray it on for this instance. It goes over the raw wood, not over your painted surfaces. Got to go over the raw wood. If a little bit gets on the paint, is it a problem? Not a problem at all. So now what you do is liberally sp spritz it on and make sure it's it's completely saturated, is that correct? Make it to the point to where it's going to just run off. So even if it runs across your existing wood, it's not a problem. This is, this is a pretty all neutral base, slightly acidic, all purpose cleaner that works well. So you can use it for cleaning many other things, but it cleans the wood fantastic and leaves no solvents or residuals. Well, how long do we have to wait? You know, this is going to about five, 10 minutes. Give it 15 minutes at the most. It's going to soak right in there. This wood's very dry when you got it to this point and you'll be ready for the treatment process. What happens if you have to leave it longer? Would that be a problem? Not at all, Roger. It's, it's already soaking into the wood and that's what we want. What is the next step that we're going to do here? What we're going to do now is we're going to treat it, whether you had dry rot for the fungus, different than a mold, or if you had termites. We have the borate product that has been around for many, many years and has proven itself in the field. It's professional use quality that you have access to to treat it. Now that we've done the bio cleaner and it's set up for a minimum of five minutes or so, we determine whether or not it's termites or dry rot. If it's dry rot, this is as far as you have to go for that product. But if it's termites, Arnie, what do you have to do in addition to that? What we're going to do now, if it was termites, is we are going to drill some holes down the depth of this wood because we know that most of the termites have entered, they eat with the grain of the wood, and we want to be sure and treat for those guys. So by drilling into them a, a number of zigzag holes, we're going to inject our next process, which is our fungicide termiticide so you won't have this reoccurring problem. Now they wouldn't drill all the way through, they would drill down how far would you go and how would you determine how deep to go? So depending on how deep your wood is, I like to make a mark with a piece of tape so that we don't go through and we don't want our liquid borate product to run out of it. We want it to stay within that lumber. So anything, the wood. anything below this is fine. We just know not to go any further in drilling any further than that tape. I think that's a great idea.